ever consider the extent to which Tesla might have prospered by 2023. Many investors are keeping a close eye on Tesla, and the majority of them are confident in the business's ongoing success. By the end of the year, be sure to keep an eye out and stay tuned to learn about Elon Musk's intentions for Tesla. Tesla CEO Elon Musk is committed to improving the business, even if he is constantly subjected to criticism. Musk has always had faith in Tesla's potential and what it can achieve. Considering how he helped Tesla become what it is now, his confidence may not be entirely misplaced. Watch the video from today to discover Elon Musk's ambitions for Tesla in 2023. We're confident we can make a very, very compelling $25,000 electric vehicle that's also fully autonomous, stated Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla in 2020 at the company's much anticipated Battery Day event. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, stated in the same year that his business intends to start producing an electric car for $25,000 by 2023. That is an incredibly low cost for a consumer electric car. We're confident we can make a very, very compelling $25,000 electric vehicle that's also fully autonomous, Musk stated during the presentation. Additionally, you should take into account how much less expensive it is to own an electric vehicle when you consider the $25,000 pricing point, making it much more cheap. Elon Musk gave a more accurate estimate of when the next less expensive Tesla car would be released in 2021 during a company-wide conference that began in early September. The CEO of Tesla stated during the conference that the company planned to begin producing the new $25,000 electric vehicle in 2023, according to people who attended. In his remarks, Musk connected the introduction of the new Model 2, which does not yet have an official name to Tesla's accomplishment of a deployable, fully autonomous driving system. He even posed the question to Tesla staff members, do we want this car to come with a steering wheel and pedals? It seems likely from what he said that the future Tesla car won't even have a steering wheel. That could be the much anticipated Tesla robo taxi or not. On April 20th, 2022, Musk revealed during an electric vehicle manufacturer's earnings call that Tesla intended to start mass producing its steering wheel deficient robo taxi in 2024. On a different subject, Elon Musk has now established a firm deadline for Tesla to begin producing the Cybertruck, Roadster, and Tesla Semi in 2023 after postponing almost every new car introductions for the past few years. For some time now, Tesla has only offered the Model S, Model 3, Model X, and Model Y in its portfolio. The car maker has, it should be noted, unveiled a number of other vehicles throughout the years, all of which have been postponed. The next generation Roadster and Tesla semi-electric vehicle, which were intended to hit the market in 2019 and 2020, respectively, were unveiled by Tesla in 2017. They haven't yet begun production, though. The Cybertruck, which Tesla notably introduced in 2019 and stated will go on sale in 2020, was also repeatedly postponed. Both the Cybertruck and the new Roadster were postponed to 2023 with highly questionable timelines. The automaker plans to construct the Cybertruck at its recently inaugurated Texas Gigafactory, which it hopes will surpass all other American auto factories in terms of volume production. Musk also mentioned the company's other proposed Gigafactories worldwide and how it is far more environmentally benign to produce cars close to their intended shipping locations. At the April Cyber Rodeo event, Musk stated this year is all about scaling up production, a scale that no company has ever achieved in the history of humanity. Next year, Cybertruck will start to be produced. We intend to produce both Roadster and Semi. All of that is forthcoming. The focus of this year is scaling up, and there will be a huge influx of new products the following year. In addition to cars, the CEO mentioned that Tesla might begin producing the Optimus humanoid robot the next year. However, it should be highlighted that he was a little more circumspect in his remarks. CEO Elon Musk stated that Tesla will not introduce a new model in 2022 as it concentrates on increasing the manufacturing of its current vehicles in a product roadmap that was revised in January. Longtime Tesla fans who have reserved cars like the Semi and Cybertruck, both of which have had delays, will undoubtedly be pleased to hear Musk's comments. Since they have been waiting for their prize for years, Tesla owners who were eligible for a free next-generation Roadster under the company's previous referral program would also probably enjoy Musk's latest announcement, as was previously reported. Furthermore, it seems that Tesla is far from finished. In his Master Plan Part 2, Elon Musk hinted that Tesla would be bringing out more products to cover every major mode of transportation on land. This implies that cars like delivery vans, people carriers with a large capacity, and low-cost cars with a big volume are probably going to be arriving soon. What goals do you have for Tesla in the upcoming years? 
post your ideas in the space provided for comments below. When speaking to analysts during the second quarter earnings call in late July, Musk discussed the eagerly anticipated Tesla Cybertruck, saying, we will bring another level of simplicity and manufacturing improvements with Cybertruck and future products that we are not quite ready to talk about now, but I think it will be very exciting to unveil in the future. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, has finally stated that the electric car manufacturer may begin shipping its anticipated Cybertruck in the middle of 2023, despite multiple delays. According to Musk, the Tesla team is still concentrating on getting the Cybertruck ready for production as well as potential future platform designs. We have a lot of enthusiasm for that product. Musk stated it might be our best product ever in reference to the much-awaited Tesla Cybertruck. The truck will be produced at Tesla's $1.1 billion Gigafactory in Austin. The American Irish International Consumer Credit Reporting Organization Experian claims that the Model Y Compact crossover is the best-selling electric vehicle in the nation. The facility, which also houses Tesla's headquarters, debuted for business in April. It's also possible that Tesla will raise the cost of its full self-driving FSD beta software in the interim. Autopilot, a driving assistance system, is currently standard on Tesla vehicles. FSD is available to Tesla owners for an extra $12,000. About Autopilot, we have now made our FSD beta available to over 100,000 owners, enabling them to drive on city streets. They are quite pleased with the system's capabilities, and we will keep making weekly improvements. With FSD beta, we have now traveled more than 35 million miles, Musk stated. Musk has always had faith in Tesla and with good cause. Tesla is a business that is constantly innovating to improve its goods and services. According to Musk, a company's goal is to provide beneficial goods and services. He went on to say that a corporation shouldn't exist in and of itself, but rather that it should exist because a collection of individuals get together to create goods and services, and if those goods and services are excellent, the firm will be valuable and beneficial. If not, then regrettably it isn't, and Tesla is unquestionably a business that provides value to its clientele. In addition to lowering carbon emissions, the Tesla team is working hard to lower the cost of cars and increase their accessibility for the general public. The company is amazing if you think its products are great. And that's it. That's the reality Musk claims. As the head of the organization, Musk naturally has a lot of respect for the Tesla group. He said that even without him, the business would succeed greatly because of its highly skilled staff. He clarified that it does not in any way suggest that he intends to leave the company if he was abducted by aliens or returned to his home planet. He expressed his excitement for the company's potential, believing it has an extremely bright future. Musk also conveyed his appreciation for the level of assistance he and his business have been receiving. I think just generally, you know, encouraging sustainable energy and being supportive of that, I think is really helpful. He stated that Tesla wouldn't be where it is now if it weren't for the backing of the public. He claimed that those who purchase solar panels and automobiles contributed to improving the state of the globe going forward. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, once stated, assuming we get all these things, we do all these things, I think probably Tesla will be the most valuable company in the world for more Tesla stock material. Don't forget to view our other videos and hit the like and subscribe buttons.